Hey guys! So, this week has been quite tumultuous for pageantry. The controversy behind Miss Universe Colombia 2020 and the war between the current Miss Universe Mexico Sofia Aragon and her national director Lupita Jones. I will also explain why I did not produce my list of favorites for Miss Earth 2020. But before I continue, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and click the bell icon below to get instant notification for the next video. And if you're new to this channel, welcome! So, the new Miss Universe Colombia 2020 was crowned last Monday, November 16th. Her name is Laura Olascuaga, representing the state of Bolivar. She is 25 years old and she holds a degree in social communication and journalism. This is the first edition of Miss Universe Colombia. Until 2019, the Colombian representative to Miss Universe was selected by the Miss Colombia organization that produces Señorita Colombia pageant. But the Miss Universe organization and its aggressive effort to strengthen its brand broke ties with the Miss Colombia organization and offered the franchise to Natalie Ackerman under the condition that Ackerman produce a separate national pageant exclusively for Miss Universe. Now here's something interesting. Laura Olascuaga actually competed in Miss Colombia 2018 pageant where she placed first runner-up or vice queen to the eventual winner Gabriela Tafur. However, she resigned from her position as Colombia's representative to Miss International 2018 allegedly due to personal reasons. Now here's something intriguing. A gossip is milling around in social media intimating that the Miss Universe Colombia 2020 pageant had been staged out of revenge and love, says this meme in Spanish. You see, Natalie Ackerman and Laura are very good friends. Natalie apparently was obsessed with Nicolás Noora. See them together in the photo on the bottom left? Nicolás was dating Gabriela from early 2019 until she broke up with him in February this year. And after Natalie acquired the Miss Universe franchise, Laura approached Natalie telling her that she wanted to compete in Miss Universe Colombia and that if she won, that it would be a big slap in the face to Gabriela because Laura had always felt that she should have won in 2018. According to the rumor, Natalie had staged the pageant to give the illusion that it would be honest and authentic when in fact, it was nothing more than a formality to crown Laura as the winner. In other words, the other contestants were only used as props. The Colombian fans who were cheering for heavy favorites Miss Antioquia, Carolina Londoño, and Miss Meta, Maria Juliana Franco, who was Miss Earth Colombia 2017, apparently were not happy with Laura's victory, as demonstrated by this video where they were yelling at Laura in Spanish, no te queremos in mula, which translates to, we don't like you trash, as she was exiting the venue minutes after she was crowned. I have a feeling Laura is going to have a rough year. How many Colombians will actually cheer for her at Miss Universe? In other news, there's a war going on between the current Miss Universe Mexico, Sofia Aragon, who placed second runner-up in Miss Universe 2019, and her national director, Lupita Jones, the first Mexican Miss Universe. On November 16, Sofia uploaded a half-hour-long video to YouTube where she reveals the real reason why she cannot attend the finals of Miss Universe Mexico 2020, because she was not invited by Lupita. Sofia also made these following allegations that Lupita unfollowed her and blocked her on all social media and contacts, that she herself paid for all her preparations leading to Miss Universe with the help of TV Azteca, that she did not receive all of her cash prize which prevented her from buying food and getting medical assistance, that she received support from other title holders such as Jimena Navarrete, Miss Universe 2010, Denise Franco, Miss Universe Mexico 2017, and Andrea Toscano, Miss Universe Mexico 2018, and that she suffered from symbolic violence caused by Lupita and the pageant organization. Lupita denied all of Sofia's claims in a video that she posted to YouTube the following day. Lupita's claims include that she paid for Sofia's nose job, liposuction, and new teeth because Sofia was not beautiful, aka ugly. That Sofia suffers from depression caused by cyberbullying, that she helped Sofia get her first TED talk and publish her book, 
and that the real winner of Mexicana Universal 2019 was Claudia Lozano, Sofia's first runner-up. Interesting. Oof. Lupita sounds mean. So the Miss Earth 2020 virtual finals will be held on November 29th, and some of my viewers are wondering why I haven't come up with my favorites list. I have two reasons. Well, first of all, I don't believe in virtual pageants. They're not real, at least in the physical sense. Some people may think that virtual pageants are just as good as real pageants, which is fine if that's what they believe. But to me, a virtual pageant, or any virtual event for that matter, is not as exciting as a real one, not to mention that the script is contrived and lacks spontaneity, and that the reactions of the contestants are artificial. I'm not the only one who thinks that a virtual pageant is not a real pageant. I know a couple of national directors who feel the same way, and they both decided not to allow their delegates to compete in the virtual edition of Miss Earth 2020. But since Carousel Productions, the producer of Miss Earth, wanted to increase their revenue without lifting a finger in staging the virtual finals, backstab these national directors by dismissing their valid reasons not to allow the representatives to compete virtually and accepting at-large representatives instead. And did you know that at least 21 countries withdrew from the virtual pageants of this year, either because no national pageant was held due to the coronavirus pandemic, or that some of the countries do not believe in virtual pageants either? Oh, and just FYI, I was invited by Carousel to judge an online competition, but I had to respectfully decline based on this very same reason. Second, the pageant officially started on September 21st, which began with Getting to Know You virtual meet and greet with each of the 84 delegates. This was followed by Long Gown Competition, Beauty of Face, Intelligence and Environmental Awareness, beachwear, sportswear, and national costume. Frankly, I just don't have the time or patience to watch these online events because I have more pressing matters to attend to. So if any of you watch all these events, congratulations. Will I watch the virtual finals online? You bet. And I'll be cheering for Miss Earth USA, Lindsay Coffey, whom I think will take it all. And there you have it, the reason behind the Mission vs. Columbia 2020 controversy, the fight between Sofia Aragon and Lupita Jones, and the reasons why I did not create a Miss Earth 2020 list of favorites. Thank you for watching, guys. Until the next time, bye!